I feel like saying congratulations, as if there's been something like a a primary win at this stage. But uh, th this is a very important uh, message, it seems, about both Washington politics and New Hampshire politics. Well, thanks for having me on, Lawrence. It's good to be with you. And look, my job is to listen to the people of New Hampshire and deliver for them on the issues that they say matter. And I focus on supporting small, innovative businesses, on keeping our state and our country safe. I want to make sure that we're expanding New Hampshire's economy and lowering costs for families. And that work doesn't change depending on who my opponent is. And whoever my opponent is, this is still going to be a really tough race because we're an independent place and a purple place. I want to take a look at a, a recent poll uh, that shows what this race might have looked like if Chris Sununo had gotten in it. And even though he won by 22 points in his last election, he didn't have that kind of lead over you. It, it shows Chris Sununu at 46 percent. Uh, it shows you at 41 percent. Uh, and then, you know, the, the unknown factors for other voters. Uh, so that's that's not much of a lead. And uh, it, it's it, and certainly it's within the margin of error. And so that that is uh, functionally a tie. Uh, so this was, as you say, even if Chris Sununu got in it, it was going to be a tough race. What what are, what do you think New Hampshire voters a year from now will be concentrating on uh, in terms of evaluating whether to send you back to Washington? Well, you know, the job is always to be out engaging with voters, talking to them about what's important. Uh, today, I was in Manchester, uh, standing in front of a river next to a highway interchange with a dam downstream and um, a bridge uh, right behind us. And that really uh, was a way to focus on how important uh, the infrastructure package, the bipartisan package that we just uh, passed into law uh, is going to be. It's a game changer for New Hampshire. It's a game changer for our country. It's going to let us move forward and create jobs and grow our economy and compete in the 21st century. What my constituents are looking for is people coming together, getting things done, delivering. It's important for our economy. It's important for our quality of life. It's really important to show people that democracy can deliver. And that's what this is about. And I have a strong record of reaching across the aisle, getting things done. And that's uh, the, the case I'll be making to New Hampshire voters. But, you know, the really important thing here is to continuing uh, to engage with people and listen to what's on their mind and let them know that you'll always stand up for them and be an independent voice for them. Uh, what did Chuck Schumer say to you today about uh, Chris Sununu deciding not to run? I think Senator Schumer knows, as we all do, that uh, New Hampshire is always a really competitive state. Again, uh, our job is to work together, uh, reach across party lines, and focus on what matters to our constituents. Uh, we've done the bipartisan infrastructure package. We got the bipartisan uh, Endless Frontiers Act that focuses on American uh, innovation and manufacturing, addressing our supply chain issues and outcompeting China. We got that done in the spring. The American Rescue Plan cut taxes for working families. We want to continue that. We have more work to do. Uh, but at the end of the day, that's the focus now. How can we make a difference for the American people? How can I make a difference for Granite Staters who really want to get back to work, uh, see their kids back full time in school and really have the opportunity to work hard, get ahead and stay ahead? Uh, that's what we talked about. Yeah, there's a lot of polling data that that shows that uh, people don't on something like the infrastructure bill, the average voter does not know who voted for it, who voted against it. They don't know that the reason that road is being repaved over there is because of the vote that you cast. How do you communicate all of that in New Hampshire? You go out into the state and talk to people about uh, what the infrastructure needs they experience are, you know, this infrastructure bill not only fixes highways, roads, bridges, dams, as I was referencing before, but this is about getting high-speed Internet 
to every corner of New Hampshire, a state that has really struggled to get the kind of overall Internet service that it would allow a small business to start up just anywhere, right? And so you go out, you engage with people. Uh, I did that before we passed the infrastructure package. I was in New Hampshire talking with people about uh, the difference it could make and what they needed. Uh, we know that climate change continues to be a major threat, something we have to address. We've addressed some issues uh, related to climate change in the infrastructure package, coastal resiliency, uh, a uh, strong and resilient clean energy grid. These are all things that you just have to go out and talk to people. They're tangible for people. And at the end of the day, this is, again, just being engaged with voters and listening to them as well as talking with them about what you've done and what you hope to be able to do to help them build the life they want for themselves and their kids.